What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle, and um, we are back. Now, well, what I'm going to do with you guys today is share a process. And what do you mean by share a process, Grand Tizzle? Uh, I'm going to share with you a system and a formula that I have to come up with uh, flyers really, really, really quickly. You don't have to say really, really, you know, multiple times. You just say real quick. But you know how we are. You know, we're going to say really, really. You know what I mean? Uh, these are a bunch of flyers that I put together for Big O, my Big O Live account. And I'm, uh, I'm trying to clean them up. All right. I'm also making uh, um, a flyer. Well, actually, these flyers are from my Etsy store, my Etsy shop. So I get to sell templates and um, I get to teach you and I get to sell assets to you if possible. Uh, but before I, before I sell anything else to you guys, I want to give away some free bees. All right. So the free bees is going to be the beta packets. I sound like um, Bill Cosby, but it's, anyway, it's going to be the beta packets to my assets. And my assets, um, you can find in the link. And um, uh, I want to say something real quick. And, and it, this is not a, a sales pitch to you. But I came up uh, here uh, a couple of weeks ago raving about uh, how beneficial uh, AI is. Right. And I must admit, it's very beneficial. But as I was working with it, I discovered that if it, it actually takes a little longer here, let's go to the page real quick. It actually takes a little longer than I actually thought <laughs> um, to uh, put together uh, flyers and stuff like that uh, using AI. Flyers in particular. Now, AI definitely, it, it do its part. Let me see. Well, I wish I forget what your count on, man. Shoot. Let's try that one. Uh, it does do its job, right? Um, however... It is not even it, right? I gotta go to the other. I gotta sign out. Oops, create. Anyway, uh, here, let's just do this. Forget it. Let's go to the community and just look at a few images real quick. Now, these are beautiful images, right? For art, they're wonderful, beautiful. Matter of fact, um, some of these images, uh, actually, I created some art and I did a, a previous tutorial. Matter of fact, y'all should check it out. Um, and I created some art like so, like something, not not this, but I create art like this and then I paint it. So as I'm talking, I'm gonna be showing you right now, like I'll scroll through this and then I'll um, cut in some of my painting and I did some speed painting and um, uh, it's beautiful, right? Now that is definitely what it's good for, but I found a way to you utilize it for flyer designs. But I discovered that it's limited. It's very limited when it comes to fly design. So, so for example, this right here is excellent. This is cool, perfect. Like, um, matter of fact, we're going to probably use this because I had created a bunch of these, and we're going to use it for a restaurant flyer, right? As a matter of fact, here we, it's this simple. Let's copy this image, and I'm going to show you one time out. And this is what we're going to be doing in, in this session. I could just simply paste the image, right? It's a perfect square. We scroll it, I hit it, I probably uh, make some adjustments to it, and um, you know, boom, and you know, maybe something like that, and uh, you know, some, I don't know, I probably add some shine to it or something like that, and we take it and we drag it under my uh, template layer. Hold on, let me show you. look over here. You see this? So it's inside the template layer. Let me take it out. Okay, and let's just simply drag it on, under the template layer. And now here we have it. We have a flyer and uh, let me explain something to you guys real quick. Uh, this is a, a um, you know, uh, uh, this is a no, no to share with, you know, people, clients and things like that. You know, you never really want to tell them what the real big secret is, but I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. So give me a second. And I'm gonna pull something up. I'm educating you guys real quick on some real knowledge right here. Okay. Now check this out. Let's slide this over. What George Grant is lying. Be patient. You see this? You see this? 
This, for example, that's an excellent cover. Um, you know, this, Rihanna, you know, with the fonts and all that. You know, Kim Kardashian, of course. But do you notice something? Do you notice something? Let me give you a second to try to, to, try to discover something. Anybody in the comment section, um, make sure you comment and don't and comment. Forget it. I, I can't tell when you could comment. But anyway, do you notice something? In particular, the image is high quality. It's a high quality image. It's a high value image. The image looks good first, and then the overlay of said text. You see that? So I want you to study and kind of master that. Look at magazine covers, look at book covers, look at movie posters. Um, oh, she's beautiful. What happened? Oh, uh, um, but uh, check that out. Look, you know what I'm saying? Observe it. Check it out. Look at the font. Look at the color scheme and the fonts. That's what it's all about. And that is uh, the top. Why is this thing switching up? What's happening? computer um, that is one of the top secrets that's one of the master secrets the secrets is first to imaging now a lot, obviously this is a lot of artistic graphics so we ain't talking about that we're just talking about a really good image and then the words that's really making this magazine pop you understand what I'm saying um, and I hope my my latest uh, student is watching this um, T her name T she's a um, she's like a I'm her mentor and uh, and I talked about I talked to her about this and I, I, I told her that I would come back and um, kind of break it down and dissect it. But this is what I want you all to really lock. Uh, if you're trying to be a professional graphic design artist, you want to know. Uh, I'm, and I'm kind of just shortcutting it for you. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm shortcutting it by letting you know it's all in the quality of the graphics. Now, this one in particular, I probably, uh, you know, I probably wouldn't use this, but let, let me show you something real quick. I probably actually would pick another um, image, you know, something a little sharper, but I'm kind of just giving you a little bit of, uh, you know, let me show you real quick. Let's go into the folder. You, you, all of you that's watching this, you should already have this ultimate uh, Photoshop Essential Toolbox. If you don't, go ahead and get it. Just download it. I mean, it helps. It helps the channel. It helps me, you know, blah, blah, blah. Y'all already know. It helps me. It helps. I'm doing it. You know what I mean? I got to make a living. You know, that whole thing. Um, but I'm not trying to uh, sell you on, on anything. If you can't get it, uh, you know, uh, there's other resources. You, I'll show you, you know, where to get it from and things like that. But this will just help you out. This is just um, straight to the point. Uh, anywho, uh, I got some things already made up, like the all 3D text. So if we open this up, we will see that there's some pre-made 3D Texas. So here's one right here, burger. So we're gonna select burger and badge. Hold control, oops. Okay, I guess I can op only open it one at a time. We'll place that and uh, we'll go get, we'll place another one. And let's enter that and then we'll place uh, bash, right? I got pizza and there's bash right there, burger. Uh, a couple of pre-made and, and and I constantly uh, make them and update them and you know add them in there all right and then um and then we can just hold shift push that down let's click this hold shift push it up now you'll notice that now we it started off a club flyer you know what I'm saying but we can just actually go up in there and uh, cut some of these things off so this is which one is this let's see here that's presented by so we can just cut presented by off and now we got the burger and let's hold that up for the bash sorry about that all oh, these overlays be killing me y'all oh my goodness bash just I just want bash okay all right and then we got the burger bash and then there we have it of course it's not a club galaxy so we can we can call this, uh, you know, uh, Papa, Papa Joe's spot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Papa Joe's spot or Papa Joe's burgers. I mean, you know, y'all give y'all y'all give me a name. You know, participation, man. It's crowd participation. 
But Papa Joe's spot, the doors open at 9. No, we open at, uh, you know, Papa Joe's open at uh, 9 a.m. Not, it's not a club. It's a, a hamburger spot. 9 a.m. And, uh, you know, we might have some DJs at Papa Joe's. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's called Papa Joe's. You know, anything goes at Papa Joe's. Y'all already know how that works. All right. And, um, uh, you know, it open is the grand opening is December the 21st. And uh, we got AM. And anyway, um, so the idea. Oh, and one more thing I would do. I would do something like this. Uh, let's uh, let's paint the town black and uh, let's go in here and then start um, start erasing you know I could have did it another way that's okay that's all right I mean you know I like I said I wouldn't probably pick that uh that burger maybe we'd tone down opacity a little bit just but we want to really just focus on a burger but you know that's a I don't like that flyer but did you get the picture you see what I'm saying? You, you get the picture. You get a good quality image and pretty much everything else kind of falls into place for you. So the concept and the idea, um, what I plan on doing today, fam, is making a few flyers and utilizing um, just the concept of a, a, a good imagery. Um, but what I discovered again, and when we go back to AI, and when I was talking about AI, I was talking about how I first anticipated uh, uh, complete, doing complete flyers in AI total. Um, and then I discovered uh, it wouldn't be as easy. I, I didn't think it, 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 it wasn't that easy. Here's another good one. This, this is actually a good one. Um, but it don't come out exactly. So what you do use AI for is what I would consider background. You would use it for the background of the flyer. Or for the background of any flyer, for for, for that uh, you know, for, for that meaning or whatever. I can't think of the word right now. You know, I've been having brain fog lately. I think it's on uh, September, and I ain't, I've been on caffeine because it's been getting dark, and I've been trying to stay woke. But anywho, um, this is the concept, right? That's the concept, and when you're using AI, so that means that when you really want to structure something and you want to do it kind of quick. You, you, you probably want to stick with the assets. You know what I'm saying? You, you're going to want to stick with the assets. And I'm going to give you a quick example. Let's say, um, yeah, let's move this, move that, move that, uh, Burger Bash. All right, let's go ahead and move these two guys out of the way. Delete draw. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so they out of here. Um, assets. Let's say, for example, I want to put a, uh, let's say a model here, a model Vixen, right? Uh, so I'll select this and then I hit generative field. And then this is if we messing around with AI. And then I would say, uh, be a beautiful Vixen model. Now, the only reason I'm saying Vixen model, guys, is because this is a, you know what I'm saying? This is an urban party. All right, you know, we're going to, so I'm just going to say Vixen model, you understand know what I'm saying? All right, and then I'm going to hit generate, and now so it gets a little tricky. Okay, first of all, you see here it says, please review your prompt to ensure it meets our guidelines. So, boom, rule number one, we can't do nothing raunchy. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So let's kind of tone it down and just say, um, be a beautiful model. And let's see what that generate. It may give me the same thing because it's, uh, the AI is very careful. This is corporate. This is Adobe. So they can't be finding some raunchy. Okay. Now. Okay. Boom. He is all right. I wasn't quite looking. Oh, that's interesting that they, they matched the background. Oh, that's real interesting. Okay. All right. I can dig it. Right. However, that's not quite what I was looking for. So let's. Let's do that again. Um, but but that, but but I do find that interesting. So let's go a layer above and um, let's uh, let's see. Let's do that. Actually, you know what? Maybe we want to stay on that layer so that they can go ahead and add the background with it too. <clears throat> but really, I want here. Let's try it without the background. Let's see. And we're gonna say uh, female. beautiful model and let's see what happens 
And as we're doing this, you're I'm going to explain something. The fact that I'm typing, I'm stopping, I'm typing in, finding out the, you know, what, the, and then I had to wait and see what they render for me. Okay, that's that's nice. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> but that's not quite what I was looking for, right? So now it's a couple of things we can do. We can go up in here and uh, we can look and see what other renderings they got. So we can click that. All right. Oh, blue hair. You know what I mean? What's this turtleneck business going on? This one. Okay, that's cool. The eyes is kind of, you know what I'm saying? She from Africa or something like that. I don't really know what they were trying to do now. So guess what? I'm going to be like, ah, okay, uh, you know, whatever. Um, so then I'm going to select this layer. And let's do it again, right? And we're going to just try to separate the layer, right? Now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and type, uh, you know, B. You, and I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't necessarily say black model. You know what I'm saying? I might have I might have wanted a Caucasian. Okay, but anyway, beautiful um, female model and let's see what they render without this background okay so now we've been sitting here for a couple of minutes and this is what i this is what i'm saying about um prompting and things like that now of course you know we could see okay, she cute you know but i want she, she don't look like she had a party you see what i'm saying and let's go up here <clears throat> let's see what the uh, rendering is up here uh let's see all right, we got that. Oh, we got her. Okay, that's cool. Okay, they think I'm got some African vibe going on because because of the background, and I'm mad at them. Okay, they give it. They ask. They ask, I ask for it. They say, okay, I got you. Here you go. However, how long did that take? Uh, you know, uh, our attention span. Uh, our attention span is very short, right? So, how long did you sit around? Are you still here? You see. That's this with this generator fill, right? Now with the assets, guess what we can do? We can just go to file, place embedded, go to the folders, slide down to the vixens. And it's funny too because I was like really into really selling um selling AI. But uh again, like I said, I discovered some things and I discovered the time. So I'm looking, okay, I actually is closer to seeing more of what I might want. So let's just go ahead and pick her. I don't know. Don't ask me why I'm picking her. I'm just picking her. Okay, no, you know what? I apologize. Uh, okay, she should have had some things covered up. But the point that I'm trying to make, you know what? <laughs> I should put a blur on there. I, you know what? I uh, forgive me for that. But what I want to say is, don't, don't, don't. This look so much better. You know, minus the, you know, the other stuff. You know, this it just have a. It, it's fitting much better. It's fitting much better. It's quicker, right? It's, I would say cleaner, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick some somebody else. Let's go ahead and pick her, man. All right. So her edges look like it need to be cleaned up, but. It's better and it's quicker and we know exactly what we want. You see them coming from and uh, this one here. Uh, the reason why I wouldn't pick this and I'm going to show you something. Y'all see these these hinges here. Let me show you how to uh, get rid of that. Let me show you how to remove that. First of all, we need to rasterize that and then we go up here to um, to matting and you go to defringe. And you pick a number, a width, because what we're going to be doing is defringing the edge. So let's say we pick six. Okay, you see how that disappeared? And it could be a little cleaner, but that's just a quick way to uh, clean up some edges like that. I mean, it's a lot of, it's a few other ways, but that's just, that's, just, that's you know, the one-two punch. Anyway, so we're back at this. I got to get her out of here, man. My kids might walk in, you know, it's not, not a good look. Uh, Mara, let's get her. Okay, that she cool. She like some type of pinky girl or whatever. Okay, cool. Bam. But you get the picture. Let's go ahead and defrance her a little bit too. We'll go to, we got to rasterize her. And then we'll go to layer and defringe. We give her an eight. Boom. Take all that away. Okay, cool. And um, maybe uh, something that we can do here. First of all, bring it under the text layers. And uh, let's get some 
It's blurred, or should I say, kind of just fade at in, you know. Or better yet, you know what? I kind of like that they did something. The AI did something. I'm a copy. AI is good for something. So I'm a copy that, or should I say, I'm put the circle there. Then I'm gonna go in here and then erase. Oops, I erased the wrong side. Undo. Uh, let's invert it and then erase. Now she's coming out the frame. Super cool. Okay. That to me is definitely much better. Now we're not done, right? So uh, Papa Joe spot. No, no, no. We got to go back to Club Galaxy. So let's go to Club, um, you know, Club, um, you know, uh, Club Galaxy. That's cool. Everybody go to Club Gal uh, Galaxy. Everybody been in Club Galaxy. All right, so uh, then, um, and so let's close it out. Um, and now we can put some elements here. There's some things that I cut off, didn't I? Let's see here. We cut this off. Okay, we got Club Galaxy Presents. So we pretty much got it covered up. Let's go ahead and pop some balloons up in there, right? We got some balloons. So let's go ahead and uh, go to our party for the lifestyle. Uh, we got some disco balls. Let's go ahead and let me see. Sticking with the color scheme, we can kind of stick that in there. Put that over in the corner. You see what I'm saying? Uh, we can put that in that corner. And um, the background I did make with AI. I did make the uh, background with AI. Let me show you real quick uh, it by itself. That's the background with AI. Matter of fact, I can even take that, put that right in the middle. You see what I'm saying? Make it even more discally. Slide that. And we have a lot already done. Uh -uh, you got to go behind mommy. And the text got to go above. Boom. Bada bing, bada bing. Now, we're all set and we're all done. Right? Uh, and, uh, with the exception of one or two things I would like to do. So, once you have your thing placed, right? Um, what I like to do, and this is what I told my um, my entrepreneur student, right? I told her that what makes a flyer really, really, really pop is uh, the expensive elements. So there's two ways we can do that. Now, by me post, by me making these flyers in particular for uh, for Etsy. I want them customizable. So since I want them customizable, I have to use a tool that they have access to. Normally, I would use After Effects. Um, for some reason, After Effects froze up on me, and I have to restart the computer. And I haven't restarted my computer yet because I got a billion things open, so I ain't worried about it right now. But normally, I would use. Matter of fact, let me see if I could pull something up that's already produced using um, 3D. So let's go into my clients folder. And do not tell my client that I use some of uh, some of his, um, you know, some of his stuff. But I got all the PNGs for, so saved over here, right? So we have birthday bash. So let's select that and just put that in place. And look, look at how expensive that look. Y'all see that birthday bash, right? It just look expensive. Why? Because where did you get the 3D from? You see what I'm saying? Um, it, it's, it's, it's like, you know, it's, it's just add a lot of value to it. But the only reason I can't use it here, I may can use it to pro promote and stuff like that, but I can't use it here because it's un it's not editable. So since it's, since it's uneditable, we can use it just as just a font. Okay, so it is a birthday bash, but it's for a sudden such. You see what I'm saying? So we we'll use it kind of something like that, right? Um, let me put her back. Girl, what you doing? Don't be moving around. Always on the go, man. It couldn't be my wife. Okay, so check it out. So we could put the birthday bash up here, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to delete this, and we're going to add uh, maybe one more thing. And I'm only adding them just to show you how the uh, quality of the fonts and things. like. I'm going to put Grand Tizzle. Forget it. Let's put Grand Tizzle. Because y'all know my name is Grand Tizzle. So, since my name is Grand Tizzo, we are going to use Mark Font. Bam. You see that? Now, she's not Grand Tizzo. I'm Grand Tizzo. 
but the font just make everything look so expensive you see that so again the reason why I use that is to add uh, expensiveness to it it's, it's really just that simple right now this could have been done this has been done right so uh, a lot of times you may want to depending on where you put your, um, your your theme and this is considered the theme this is the theme of the flyer grand tizzle what is grand tizzle you know if if I had after effects open because I saved the template of this grand tizzle as well I saved the template so that means I can go in there and change it to party you know what I'm saying club disco I can give it the name of the person who partied it, it is you know what I'm saying you understand what I'm saying but um but all this oh you see up here you see that? Let me show you how to fix that. This is a little blooper right there. I mean, not a blooper, but let me, let me show you how to fix that. So we go up in here and we get a little drag tool and you kind of just, you know, just drag it out. That's it. Yeah, just that simple. And then you tighten it up by going here, getting your, your tool there and kind of swinging it around and then uh, right clicking, making a selection, chopping it. Chip chop, deselect, bam, we just added a shoulder. All right, I mean an elbow or whatever that thing is. Okay, so um, uh, we are there and that is it. And and I wanted to come um, on here and show you how I put together um, the flyers, but this, you know, the, the main thing is, um, Again, I want to share with you the, the main concept, guys, is uh, a text template. That's the that's the concept. Uh, I came on here a couple of times, you know, what I'm saying um, I'm, I'm trying to push and promote some of my AI assets. But what, what I'm going to do is I want to give you some free beta packs and it's going to be the holiday packs. And um, it's going to cover Christmas, you know, Halloween, you know, 4th of July, you know, all that New Year's, all that good stuff. And if you like it, you're interested, you know, you can get, I'm, I'm just giving you a test, a, a teaser, a taste, you know what I'm saying? But um, each of them is going to have, uh, each of them is going to ha have these templates already made. So you can go ahead and get started, you know, the holidays coming around, all that type of good stuff, all that good stuff is coming around. You can go ahead and. You know what I'm saying? Kind of start, you know, slapping some flies together and going to get some bread. And um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you guys about a couple of more things. And that's going to be Canva. And the reason why Canva is because uh, we can take all this information right here and we can animate it. We could put some animation in the background. Y'all want to put something else in there? Let's put something else in there real quick. Do we? We don't need to. But uh, uh, no, I'm not going to neither. We don't need to and I'm not going to let's close this let's drop tizzle down there and there we have it that's that's polished that look good and that pretty much does it but you know what if you're interested come on back in the next tutorial I got another one coming and I'm gonna sh show you how we're gonna do a variation um, how we're gonna use just some background AI and some assets and just kind of put together some other fun ones you know what I'm saying um, and I'm going to also share with you how I use what we already have. Now, I told you, I said that we, I use uh, After Effects to come up with the 3D. But we also have these. If you're already familiar with it, we have uh, these. So, um, if we're not using the PNGs, and I'm going to try to get as many as possible in there. Um, but if we're not using the PNGs, we can also use, um, if this will open up. Um, we we'll go to our fonts right here and we use and as you see I got a lot of them you know what I'm saying I don't I ain't even open that pack yet I just I'm still going off of this but we got modern 100 design 550 we can open up these and kind of just use these right here like uh, for example luxury right now uh, I, I'm gonna come back in another tutorial and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use that utilize that uh, change this and insert it in the flyers and, and and really the thing I'm trying to do is uh, help you to be more productive way more faster you know what I'm saying just way more faster or even if you want to get you an Etsy shop or something like that you'll be able to put together these flyers so fast and, and really load up your Etsy store or wherever you're selling templates or whatever you know if you're selling templates or if you're doing services 
either or I'm going to show you how you can benefit from it and um, get the most out of uh, out of your skills all right thank you for watching until the next time y'all make sure y'all show up and uh, show out I'll see you in a minute see you when I spin it pills niece boy